trial and error. Feed it to your cat. They have slaves and they survive. <laughs> well, <laughs> So, here on my left, your right, we have Alan, who is the one in the black cowboy hat. He is our main trail horse guide. Then we have Dean, he's in the straw hat. And he might be on, uh, I don't, I'm not even going to take a, a stab at it, maybe Dimester, one of our cracker horses. But this right here is our working arena. It is actual size for regulation arena work. And if you notice, they're chasing this cow right here. It's one of two reasons why they're chasing it. One, to either train the cow, or two, to train the horse. Usually what they do in this arena is they're training the horses for specific commands. Now the other rider that you notice, this is Mikkel. And if you noticed Mel in the uh, restaurant area, she was the one that saved or served your food. That is her daughter. After the Civil War, a lot of the settlers started coming in from Georgia area. Well, when they started doing that, they had all of the cows just roaming loose in Florida. In order to find them, they literally had to hunt the cows. With that, they would have to go through Florida and actually track them down, and then from there, they would either find their own brand or brand the new ones. The cracker cow itself is about half the size of a grown Charlet. Now the Charlet were brought over from Mexico to Dr. Broussard's father's uh, ranch in Louisiana. I noticed that. Look at that. Now the mama is the one that's bringing up the rear there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, all right, one of them's camera shy. <laughs> These trees, they're in a nice orderly row. They normally do not grow like that, so you can safely assume that they were planted. These are, are our southern magnolia trees. Now these magnolia trees here, were planted in honor of Alan. Dr. Broussard has planted over 100,000 plants, mainly trees and shrubs, on the property since his son died. Yeah. So rare that in three and a half years, this is the first time I've seen them that small. Wow. I think those are all babies right yeah. there. Right 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 from horn tip to horn tip. And it's really fun to watch him when he walks because it's one tip first and then step. Other <laughs> tip and step. They're awful heavy. Yes. Now these guys here are very familiar with the coach. When we first acquired this herd of cows, we didn't like the coach. And the cow's head above the fireplace, his name was Bulldozer. Bulldozer, <laughs> literally cloud over everything. He took a dislike personally to the coach and would ram the coach <laughs> while you were going through. But now these guys have a really hard time moving out of the way. Now I know some of you are not ranchers here, but I had one person ask me, well, how do you know the difference between a male and a female if both of them have horns? Please, on what trail are you? Florida Trail. Yes. Oh, you are on the Florida Trail? trail? The yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it was a tear of the cushion, they are split. Yeah, be careful on this side.